strange objects on a floor. OK, new scene. A sphere which has quite a nice resolution. Right mouse click, new material, Arnold, standard surface, checkerboard next to color, ramp, the ramp is already visible here, and we make it go from yellow to white. This thing will now be the mother or father of a mesh network. So we click here and mesh produces 10 of them. Under the mesh distribute I go to instead of number of points 10 uh, and linear I will distribute them in a grid pattern which creates 3 by 3 by 1 and actually we can enter a 3 here as well distance them a little bit further away from each other and select the hidden original sphere and increase the size. I just want to increase the size a little bit and um, now I want to make this thing dynamic. Back to mesh, mesh um, and dynamics. Add a dynamics mode. Of course, they will fall down to that uh, infinite um, flat space here, flat level, plane, and do the nice things which we used to. Uh, I can deactivate the grid now because we have a grid down there. Now, I thought about making these particles soft and mesh. M-A-S-H, that is, this one, um, is about polygons. It creates instances, many, many instances uh, of polygon objects and puts them into dynamic or whatever contexts. So it has not to, to do anything with soft body, which is a particle system. They're two different and separate worlds in Maya. Still, we can combine them, sort of. So... I select this object here which is called the mesh repro mesh and I go to FX here and under N particles I find the soft body. Let's use the option box. Instead of the default which is just make it soft I chose duplicate it and make the copy soft and this non soft should be a, a goal and I don't want to, the goal to be really, I think the default is 0 0.5. Um, it, uh, if you make the goal uh, weight 1, it means the soft bodies will always follow their goal, which is the original uh, spheres here. And uh, if you set it to 0, they won't care about the shape of the sphere. So I will choose something like 0 0.1. Apply. Now the colors here have changed because there are two objects sitting on top of each other. Uh, one is the uh, repro mesh, that's what, uh, what we started off with, and one is here, is the particle system, it's called copy of mesh one repro mesh particle. So when we run the animation or simulation, this is happening. We see two the, the two sets of objects separate now. The ones without the dots are the polygon objects from the mesh animation. And the soft bodies are the ones here. They consist of particles and they follow, because we um, chose the originals as goals, they will follow the others, but they're lagging behind. So let's, let's extend the animation now to 1000 frames and see what's going on here. When they fall on the ground, they actually penetrate the ground and later on they scale up 
because under the dynamic influence of the what is called the N the bullet solver, they behave dynamically and they spread and they get bigger and smaller and they jiggle sort of until they finally rest in the position where the hard objects are. Now um, let's run this again. You see they're getting big now. We can hide the repro mesh now and just check out the animation of the soft bodies here. I don't want them to penetrate that surface. And since the surface is a mesh thing and not a particle thing, I need to create a real object now so they won't penetrate that object. And I place the object directly on that grid here. So we go to polygon modeling and create a plane and we scale it up dramatically like this and we move it all the way down and from the side view we see, see exactly where we want it to be. Uh, I press and hold the key X which enables grid snapping. So the, the plane is exactly here. Now we give it another color. Actually we can give it the shader of the spheres. So uh, assign ex ex existing material which is a AI standard server. So, um, surface shader. Okay, now this is still just a sphere and the uh, blobs won't recognize it as a hard object. Now I want them to feel that surface and I was looking under N particles for a coll collision thing and the only thing I could find is make collide but that's under the legacy particle section here and it won't work with the end particles we, which we have here. That's the modern section, this is the legacy section here. So the, there is no way to create, you know, there's a way to create a goal for example. I don't want to, it to be, uh, the, the surface to be a goal, I want it to be a collision object. And I read the manual and it's not under end particles but under end cloth which is basically in the same dynamic realm, but um, I thought maybe in the next update of Maya they should get this organized a little bit better. Um, create a passive collider. That's it. Now they feel this ground. And that's what they do. They do odd things here, with, uh, uh, which we can correct, of course because the forces are so dramatic. And uh, they are sitting slightly on top of that sphere because they keep a, a safe distance, which we can uh, uh, change as well. But I leave it here and I create a new light, a sky dome light find a nice angle and adjust render this. You could call this an eggplant in yellow. It's planted eggs on a yellow surface. 